Hello and welcome to W Talk News, where today we will be discussing the cost of living crisis and how it has affected the different departments in the school. Up first, we have an interview with Miss Ranger to discuss the topic. Thank as you again, a William. And now we are here with Miss Ranger and Miss Aitchinson, and we will be talking about the school as a whole during this crisis. Hey. How are you helping families with the cost of living crisis at the moment? Okay, so what we're currently doing is, um, as information comes in about how we can support families, we share that with the whole school population in terms of an email will go out to let them all know. We also post that on the website. So again, for people that might um, be struggling at present, they can access that information, which will hopefully support them. Okay. It's a very good idea. And how are other departments coping with uh, the current crisis? And we're now in this particular sort of crisis period for a lot of family families. The council have secured money from the Scottish government to allow us not to have to ask families for um, contributions for HFT and CDT materials. Thank you very much. Now we will go back to you, William. The cost of living has affected everyone, but some departments are dependent on renewable sources, so we have interviewed people from CDT, HFT and the Science Department. Right. Has the cost of materials increased since the cost of living crisis? Yes, it has. I'd say quite, quite a lot has increased, quite, quite a large amount has increased over like COVID and then the cost of living as well. Has the source you used to buy materials changed at all? No, let's stay with the same supplier. How do you think it's affected other departments in the school? I can imagine that they'll have the same problems, but that then the prices will increase and that will affect their budgets that they've got as well. Have there been any major budget cuts in the department, like uh, hold back on materials? Yeah, I know we've had the only like, also, like essential, like essential things that we need over the last like few months. Yeah. Right, thank you for your time. Okay. Uh, How has the cost of living affected the science department? Um. Well, it's it's, pretty, it's affected people personally because it's just uh, you know there's less less security about how far your wages are going to go to. You know, generally, there's, there's no money for equipment. Uh, we got told a couple of months ago that <laughs> you have to stop photocopying, um, which I've never, never experienced before. So it's just gradually been less and less money available. Have you been getting more uh, fabric or have you had to get less fabric? We haven't been able to buy, to buy fabric, so uh, we've been quite lucky with donations from staff and from um, parents and there's a shop near where I live where they had gathered some recycling material so we've been lucky in that regard but uh, we don't have a lot of budget to spend Good. for the fabric. Thank you very much and now back to you William. It's not just the departments who have been affected, the Riverside cafeteria has also been affected by the crisis as well. We interviewed Gillian to find out. So I think everybody, everywhere in life, can see that um, that food um, and the cost of food is going up, and we are noticing the same thing um, right across the range of things from the dry goods that we order to all the fresh fruit and vegetables that we use on a daily basis. We can definitely see the price of things going up. Uh, which ingredients have gone up? I would, to be honest with you, at first I was noticing it particularly with fresh fruit and vegetables. But now I am seeing it across the board, um, even with things like flour and dry pasta and so on, everything's getting more expensive. The cost of living crisis is all around the school and it affects everyone in different ways. The cost of living crisis doesn't seem likely to stop in the near future, or maybe it will, that's for time to tell. This has been W Talk News, my name is William, thank you and goodbye.